moment. And in that moment of realization, he knew what was going on there. He knew what was happening. The Bible writers tell us that Jesus had the same moment of realization. And he knew, yes, the decision was the right one. Yes, God was here to take charge of his life, which was being committed to God. And they together heard again words from God that Isaiah first said, This is my son, the beloved, with whom I am well pleased. Well, the people from the river were watching. And they saw John and Jesus talking with each other. And then they watched, and John baptized Jesus. And then they saw him both looking up, gazing into heaven in some sort, it seemed like maybe a trance. And then just as quickly as it all happened, Jesus walked away. He walked past the crowd onto the shore and up the side of the bank on a path leading into the craggy hills up above the river. And finally, Jesus was out of sight. John just stood there and watched. Certain, certain, those people on the banks of the river must have been wondering what is going on here. Well, here in 2023, right this minute, as we sit comfortably here, we know what was going on. Something very special, very special, had just happened. A turning point had been reached in the saving work that God had been doing <clears throat> since the very beginning of time. And from that moment on, God and man, a man named Jesus, would work as one, bound together to teach the world to love, to love one another. And to bring salvation to men and to women and all of creation. So, what happens next? Three Bible writers tell us that Jesus went away for a short period of time of prayer and fasting. And I think, I suspect, maybe he was trying to pray his way through to an understanding of, a mission, of his mission. And trying to see something clear cut, a clear cut direction of how he was supposed to carry it out. And he was able to decide to reject some of the mistakes that he might have been tempted to make. And he was able to get an understanding of the way in which God's saving work was done. And then, and then just a short not long at all. Where do we find Jesus? We find Jesus like that in Galilee, preaching exactly the same message that John had been preaching. The message, repent for the kingdom of heaven has come to me. We find him healing people. We find him making them whole and not just in physical ways. And we find him calling others to join him in his work. And we know exactly what his words were, don't we? He said, come, follow me. Well, that's an interesting story. And it filled up 15 minutes. And I think most of you are still awake. So it was a good story. But where am I going with it? What's the purpose of this? It's a great story if you like ancient history. But that's not really what was going on here, and that's not what it's all about, because you see, God, the God, who was working to teach the world to love, and was working to bring real salvation to people, he hadn't changed a bit. He's still doing the same saving work right this minute in people, us, and people, our families, and people, 
our friends and people that we will never meet. But God is there to meet. God is doing that work in our world, in our community, in our family, and in our life. And that one who represents all that we were created to be, that one whose name is Jesus, and the one who chose to embrace all of humanity in his love, and to commit himself to the accomplishment of God's good purpose for the world, is leaving you and me and everybody outside the doors of our church in all of the situations of our lives and their lives. And he's saying to us the same things he said 2,000 years ago. Come on. Follow me. So what's going on here is this. God is still calling his people. And he hasn't got force. His voice hasn't given out. He may have changed his ways because the ways of the world have changed. But God is still calling his people. God's calling us, folks, you and me. So I'll leave you this morning with the question that I started out with. What is going on here? Are we listening? Are we hearing? But more than anything, are we obeying? Listen. Listen. Jesus said to us, come on, follow me.